Hey Jim, all right, so we're gonna figure out which one of these wires goes where. This is my wife's cart, and I'm, I'm trying to do this video. Hopefully you'll be able to see everything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probe these wires to the bucket harness, which is where your tail lights, turn signals, all that goes to. And we're gonna find out which color wires go where. Um, chances are the color of my wire is gonna be the same as yours. So we're gonna, we're gonna look at it. So I should have done yours the exact same way, trying to get this video where you can see everything. There we go. So the bucket harness comes in from your rear tail light, which is over here. Let's see if you can see that. Right above your charger. And it joins down here in the bottom where it splits off. One goes to the left, one goes to the right. So I'm gonna cut that zip tie. And now I can see down in here, that is where my split is. Hopefully, like I said, I, I have to do this with a tripod. So what I'm gonna do is, before the split, I'm gonna go into the thick wire and let's see how many wires are in there that splits off to the two tail lights. So we're gonna unwrap this and there they are. All right. So in my bucket harness, I've got four wires. I've got a yellow, white, a black, and a brown. So now if I go over here to the, the wire and harness that goes to the driver's side, I've got brown, black, and white. So my assumption is this, being an old car mechanic, the, let's see here, it would be the brown, brown, black, and white. Well, let's take a look and see. So now we'll take the ones that go to the passenger side it's brown, black, and yellow. So brown and black is common to both sides. My assumption is one of those is gonna be a park light and one's gonna be a ground. In order for a 12 volt bolt to burn, it's gotta have a positive and a negative, and in this case, 12 volts. So one of these is a ground, one of these is a park light. When you get to the yellow and the white, that is your brighter filament in your light bulb which would be your turn signal and your hazard. It does both jobs. So there's not gonna be a separate one. There's not gonna be four wires to each one. It should only be three. So now what I'm gonna do is, I've got a little tester that I used in the automotive business and the end of it, it's gonna be kind of hard to see in the camera, but the end of it has like a little point. So when I put it on the wire and I pull it with the spring load, it actually pierces the wire and makes a connection. The other side you go to, you're uh, uh, either negative or hot, and it will tell you, you know, whether um, you've got, what kind of power you've got going through there. So, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut my system on. I'm gonna cut my key on at the front of the uh, golf cart. All right. Now, I've got underglow lights. I've also got a radio, and it lights up. So I know right now my voltage reducer cut on. And so now I've got to find out. Oh, and you know what? The kids are playing on it. One of the blinkers is on. The left blinker is on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tester. And in this case, all grounds for the eco battery system go to the ground of the battery. So I'm, I know for a fact... I've got a ground right there. So with this scenario, when I pierce this white wire, this light should flash just like a turn signal. Let's see if it does. There it goes. So make a note right now, the white wire is the left turn signal. There it is, that's 13 volts right there going to there. Now, I'm gonna go up there and I'm gonna hit my turn signal to my right side and let's see what that does. All right, I can see my right turn signal working. 
So remember, the black and the brown is common for both sides. All it does is split from here and they connect together. But the yellow wire, see it flashing? So the yellow wire goes to your right turn signal. It's also gonna be a brake light. If I could push the, well actually I can, it's got a timer on the brakes, remember? So let me do that. I'm gonna go activate the parking brake. Okay, my brake lights are on. They're gonna be on for about 30 seconds. There you go. So the yellow wire is also a brake light for the right side and the white wire is a brake light for the left side. You know, right now I've got my parking brake on and it's got a timer before it cuts off. So let me cut the brake light off. So the brake lights are off. Now I've got my headlights on. So let's go back to that white wire, see if it's hot. Nope, because it's not a brake light. So I've got my running lights on. Let's go to the brown light, there it is. So your brown wire is gonna go to your uh, park lights or your, your, head, your running lights. Let's check the brown on the other side. Same thing. Now, let's check the black wire. Nothing, nothing at all. So the black wire is obviously your ground. Uh, I'm a, now I cannot switch this lead over to my 48 volt hot because I'll blow out, I'll blow out my test light. So let me find a 12 volt out and the 12 volt out. I've got a little, uh, let's see if I can turn the camera. I've got a fuse block that I put on mine because I've got a whole lot of accessories. So let me hook. I've got my test light hooked to my positive 13 volts. Now let's hook it to the ground. Black wire is your ground. Absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt. So my opinion to you is to go before this wire, this split, it's just as easy, it's only six inches away, and connect all your wires up. Do your turn signals, do everything the directions told you, but use those four wires that are in that harness right there. Um, your ground left and right is going to be the exact same, for ground for left, ground for right. Use that, use those harnesses, uh, I mean that, that uh, uh, connection right there into that harness. Once you're finished, just zip, like, you know, these will slip right back in. Zip tie all this right back up like I had your zip tied. I'm sure it's very similar to mine, and uh, I think you'll be 100% ready to go. Very easy. If you had that tool, you could have done this, but it's extremely easy to do that. Um, but there's no reason for you to buy it unless you're going to you're gonna start doing this for your neighborhood. So you might make some extra money. But uh, give me a call. I'm getting ready to head to the auction. But this is super simple to figure out. All right. Thanks, man.